This video will show you how to update your OnePlus device without losing root. I'm doing a giveaway in this channel. To know how to participate, make sure you check out the video from the card above or on the link in the description below. Before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and press that bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. First, open Magisk Manager app. Go to the modules section and disable all installed modules. You can enable them back after the OTA update is complete. Once you do that, go home and open Play Store. And search for the app called Oxygen Updater. You can find the link for this app in the description below. This app will automatically download the correct update file for your phone. Non-rooted OnePlus users can also use this app to get your updates faster. Now after you install the app, open it. Granting root access for this app is optional. This app will automatically detect your phone, make sure it has detected your device correctly. After that, proceed and make sure you select full update instead of open beta. And once you do that, you can start the app. Make sure to allow storage permission. This app will automatically find the latest update for your device. You can now proceed by clicking the download button. Now the OTA update file for non-rooted OnePlus device is generally smaller than the rooted device. On average, non-rooted OnePlus device's OTA update file ranges from 200 to 300 MB and for a rooted OnePlus device, it's somewhere around 1.5 to 3 GB. Once your file has been downloaded, go to Settings, System, System Updates and select the Settings icon from the top right corner and select Local Upgrade. You can now see the downloaded file in this area. In case you don't find it, all you have to do is open a file manager, go to Android, Data, com.arjanvec.oxygenupdata. You will find the file here. Just cut it and paste it in the internal storage. You will now find this update file in the local upgrade area of settings. You can now proceed by installing it. This will take around 15 minutes, so you can take a break if you want to. I will fast forward this process. Now once this is done, you will get a reboot option. Make sure you do not reboot your phone. I repeat, do not reboot your phone. If you reboot, your phone will lose root and TWRP. Now open Magisk Manager again. This step is only for devices with TWRP installed. OnePlus 7T and the OnePlus 8 series devices still do not support TWRP, so you can skip this step entirely. Now go to the download section and search for TWRP. You will find a module called TWRP Retention Script. Install it, but do not reboot your phone after it. Wait for it to flash. Now once that's done, skip the reboot option entirely and go back to Magisk Manager. Now go to the home page and select install on Magisk and select install again. Now select the last option that says install to inactive slot in brackets after OTA. The phone has successfully rebooted and if you go to the settings and about phone you can see that 
the phone has been successfully updated in my case it's 10.3.3 now to confirm if your phone is still rooted you can install an app called root checker from the play store link in description and confirm if your phone is rooted or not when once you open the app you can see that it asks for root permission and when you grant it root permission you can now see that my phone has been successfully rooted now open the magisk manager and enable all the modules that we disabled previously and reboot your phone once again your phone will now recover to its previous state and still stay updated you now have successfully updated your oneplus device without losing root or twrp this video was made because i received multiple requests from you guys so if you have any video requests make sure to drop them down in the comments below if this video was useful please make sure to hit that like button thank you for watching i'll see you next time